Hello everybody and welcome back to another GTA 5 LS Video Far tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to install Axon Signal Body Cam and Dash Cam plugin by Sergeant Nighthawk. Big shout out to Sergeant Nighthawk for this amazing plugin. It's exactly what it says in the title. It's a body cam and a dash cam on one. You got to love it. So what we are going to do is go ahead and get this inside your game. Thank you all for coming by. If you are new to the channel, if you do me that one favor, hit that subscribe button. Help this channel reach 100,000 subscribers. That will be absolutely amazing. And I'm going to help you get this inside your game. So what you guys want to do is go ahead and start off by going to Steam. Now, if you have your game on another platform, that's perfectly fine. Just go to your GTA 5 main directory. I find this is the easiest way to get to my GTA 5 main directory. Just go to Steam. Go to Grand Theft Auto 5 Legacy. Right click. Hit Manage. And Browse Local Files. This will pull up your GTA 5 main directory. So as long as you're at your GTA 5 main directory on your other platforms that have GTA 5, uh, just uh, go ahead and follow these steps. So what you guys want to do, I use WinRAR to open up my zip files. You can also use 7-zip, whatever you prefer. But as long as you have that, you'll be able to open this file up. So we're going to click download this file. We're going to click agree and download. And we're going to go to the very top and we are going to click download right here. So make sure you guys smash that like button for the creator of this plugin on LSPDFR. They really do enjoy that. Uh, so what we're going to do is click open file right here. We're going to go ahead and pull up our GTA 5 main directory. We're going to pull up the download just like so. And we are going to go right here. So we're going to go inside the very first folder at the top. We're going to go inside Grand Theft Auto 5. And we're going to take this plugins folder right here. Drag and drop over to our GTA 5 main directory. Now do not drag and drop over any of these folders. Okay. If you if you see your folder is highlighted like that. Click over here to the side. You never want to drag into another folder. Because that would just corrupt files. So take this plugins folder and drag it over here to the side. Just like so. Replace the file in the destination. Now I'm going to point this out right here. Now, these creators, they put these plugins out and they don't really mess with them or update them, um, especially for these files right here, Rage Native UI. So make sure you guys always pay attention to this. So this one says 2.5.2023, but if you actually go to the Rage Native UI uh, site, which I'll have linked down below, you'll see that this the latest one is December 12, 2024. So this one right here is way out of date, which is going to cause your game to crash. So do not install that. What you guys want to do is go right here to Rage Native UI, you're going to click download right there. You're going to click open file. And what you're going to do is you're going to take these two files right here and drag and drop into your GTA 5 main directory. So just like this, we're going to drag and drop over here to our GTA 5 main directory, place the files in the destination, just like that. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to go inside our plugins folder. We're going to click inside there and you're going to have axon signal files in here. So what you want to do is go to the one that has a gear icon next to the piece of paper. And it looks just like this. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to click edit. And what we're going to do is go through some uh, steps in here. So I really only changed one thing in here. But if you read through here, this is going to show you everything that the dash cam and also the body cam uh, can do for you. So you can also change up the serial number of the dash cam to whatever you want. You can also change up the, uh, the interior camera because there is an interior camera, which I'll walk through that here in a little bit. Um, but the only thing that I come in here and do is I go up to well actually i'll go down to this one right here so it says it determines if the if a fuzzy camera effect is applied i don't like the fuzzy camera you guys may like it and you can do it by getting inside your game checking it out and then come back in here if you don't like it but i do this from the start i go right here and i take true away and i put the I put it to false so that would turn that fuzzy camera effect off so that's the only thing that changing change in this file right here so what i'm going to do is go ahead and click file i'm going to click save just like that so now what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and jump inside gta 5 and i'm going to walk you through some steps of how to use the dash cam and also the body cam so let's go and jump inside gta 5 okay so now that we're inside gta 5 i'm going to go ahead and show you how to use the dash cam and also the body cam so for the body cam it's very simple very easy what you want to do is hit the letter o twice so double tap the letter o on your keyboard and just like that, it's going to turn your body cam on. To turn it off, you want to hold the letter O down. And that's going to turn your body cam off. And just like that, your body cam is off. Now, anytime that you unholster your weapon, you're going to see your body cam instantly comes on. Just like that. And then it's the same for if you are uh, Code 3 with lights and sirens. And you're going for a good minute, your body cam will instantly turn on. Because obviously, if you're in pursuit or something like that, uh, you don't have enough time to just click on your body cam so it instantly turns on for you. Now, for the dash cam view, what you want to do is go from third person to first person by hitting the letter V. So just like this, we're in first person to hit the letter V one more time. And you're going to instantly be on the dash cam of the last vehicle that you were in. 
so I was the last vehicle I was in was the Ford Taurus right here now what we're gonna do is going to hop inside the Durango over here now each time that you get in a vehicle and these two vehicles the Mustang and also the Durango are add-on vehicles and then the uh, Taurus is a replaced vehicle so it doesn't really matter as long as you're using an emergency vehicle you will be able to use the dash cam on it so inside here we're gonna go inside the Durango right here and what we are gonna do is go through the dash cam view so if you go to first person by hitting the letter V and then hit the letter V one more time you're gonna see we have the dash cam right here now my dash cam right now looks weird because it has the window glitching out to change that you want to hit F4 and you want to type in a X O N so hit a X O N hit tab and it's gonna be axon signal offset menu so we're gonna hit enter we're gonna hit F4 and what we're gonna do is go through here so at the very top you're gonna to see dash cam offset X dash cam offset Y and offset Z so what you want to do is use your arrow board on your keyboard or you can use the d-pad on your controller and you could go to the right with x so using the arrow board for offset x you can go left and right for y you can go forward and backwards and for z you can go up and down so i'm going to go ahead and go forward just like this with y i'm going to set my dash cam up i'm going to get away from the windshield so it is not glitching into my dash cam. I'm gonna raise it up a little bit and keep it just like this. That's how I like it. Now, if we keep going down, you have an interior cam. So for offset X, you can, uh, it's the same thing you, to go left and right. And then Y is to go forward and backwards. And then also Z to go up and down. Sometimes I like to take the, the cam on the interior and bring it in here so you can see the law enforcement officer. But I really don't use it much, but law enforcement mainly use it for suspects that are in the back that are trying to uh, either get drugs out of their pocket or you know hide something or them just saying something in the backseat can use uh, be used against them in a court of law. Now, uh, also, you, they get people in the backseat that two different suspects that are talking about the crime that's committed. Again, that could be used against them in a court of law. So these cameras have a lot of uh, things that they are used for, especially if someone's in the backseat trying to damage something. That could be used in court to show that they were in there busting out the window or tearing up the car. Uh, so additional charge right there. So it's just more evidence. So uh, you guys can see right there. Now, to save this, what you guys want to do. So you see that we have our dash cam set up the way that we want. Uh, what you want to do is go down here to the bottom and hit save settings just like that and then click close now I will explain to you if you guys are in here and Say I move my dash cam. I'm just gonna change it all the way up. I'm gonna put it all the way up here This is not what I'm gonna save it as but say I'm in here and I just forget to hit save and I hit uh, Backspace what it's gonna do is I'm gonna hit backspace just like this and it's gonna go to my very last setting So just be careful with that. Just make sure when you have it set to where you want it you go all the way to the bottom and hit save settings. So I'm gonna click close just like that. And now you have the dash cam all set up for your vehicle and you know how to work the body cam. Now, what I was saying a second ago is, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my body cam off. So I'm gonna hold down. And it's gonna instantly turn on when I am uh, using lights and siren. So just like this, my body cam is off. And once I get over a certain speed, my body cam instantly comes on. So the speed threshold has passed so uh when i'm going to certain speed with my lights and sirens on it instantly turns my body cam on so there you guys go thank you all for coming by and watching hopefully you all enjoy this have fun with it do me that one favor smash that like button also hit that subscribe button there's tons of tutorials on this channel to show you what show you all kinds of stuff to install for lspdfr and also uh gta 5 itself so we'll see you on the next one stay blessed stay safe out there Peace.